Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again. This is the third and last uh, little lesson we have on uh, single point uh, tools. And uh, today specifically I wanted to talk about threading tools and uh, single point threading. If there's any interest in this, I might make a video later on the threading on the lathe. I know some of you are anxious to see actual lathe work, but some of the groundwork is really necessary. But uh, a 60 degree uh, threading tool uh, has the following angles and uh, I'll set some of these other tool holders aside for, for the moment and show you on the big model. Uh, we've got 60 degrees here and we've got side relief on both sides and similarly on the other end I also have 60 degrees and you can see the side angles and, and the end angle and all of that and you say well what's the difference between the two? Well they're both 60 degrees but one is ground on the top and one is not and that will all depend on what kind of tool holder that you use uh, in your lathe which I'm going to get to just momentarily here. Uh, this is a center gauge which most of you probably had and that uh, has the 60 degree angles here to uh, check uh, the angles as you grind the tool but obviously these tools are too small to, to show up probably can't see it all but it should fit in there perfectly and then you would have 60 degrees. I was going to make a big model of one for this but I did not. Uh, 60 degrees of course is the common angle of uh, threads in America. V thread. Now uh, regarding the tops here there are several different tool holders but if you use the most common tool holder here uh, and this is a straight one it holds the tool at a 16 and a half degree angle. Now we want the tool to actually come in to the work uh, perpendicular. So in order to achieve that we sometimes grind, or all the time if we're using that kind of tool holder, grind the, the top back at 16 and a half degrees so that when it's held in the tool holder it ends up being horizontal and then perpendicular to the work. Now if you're using another type of tool holder like this gooseneck one which holds the uh, tool straight then your tool would be ground like this with nothing done to the top. Now I know I haven't spent any time with you on the actual grinder but that's just up to you and you'll, you'll need to practice some of this. It's not easy to do the first time. This particular tool holder here I like. It's made for threading and it's called a gooseneck. It holds the tool at straight, and this can be turned, of course, at different angles by loosening this. But the beauty of this is that uh, this gooseneck here will flex to some degree as you hit uh, irregularities as you're, uh, as you're threading. So that takes up that uh, uh, chatter. And it's like a shock absorber, I guess you could say. I, this is kind of a rare tool. It's an it's a, uh, Armstrong number S50. I venture to guess that most of you never have seen one of these. In the review now, letting this large white disc represent work on the lathe, if you are using a tool holder like this that holds it at 16 and a half degrees, then you need to grind your tool like this and your tool basically approaches the work like that so that this uh, top of the tool is on the horizontal plane. Now if you're using another type of tool holder like this uh, gooseneck or they do make a straight holder like this. I don't know how common it is but, but if you're using that kind that's going to come uh, perfectly level then you need to grind your tool and it will uh, without anything on the top and it will come in perfectly straight like that when you set it on center. So remember that now when you grind that. I'm going to take some close-up still pictures of some of these, include them at the end of the video if you want to look at those to get an idea uh, how to do that. If I get positive uh, responses on this, I'll, I'll go ahead and set up a threading demonstration later this winter, but it will be in several parts because it's not something you can go through real fast. Hope you enjoyed this little video. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.